They could get more than 100 years behind bars each. A grand jury delivered a slew of indictments against the suspects in the home invasion of a federal judge. Federal Judge Susan DeLott. Not on your sides, Julie O'Neill joins us live from the Hamilton County Courthouse with DeLott's message tonight. Julie? Yeah, Judge DeLott, a former prosecutor herself, said she just can't talk about these indictments in the case right now. She did give me an update on her condition and that of her prominent former attorney husband, Stan Chesley. But tonight, she wants to put the spotlight on the three officers who made the arrests, who I'm told they both thanked in person. After running a mile barefooted through the woods to get help, federal judge Susan DeLott says her bruised, swollen feet have her still wearing her husband's slippers everywhere she goes. Stan Chesley, she says, on several weeks bed rest, nursing spine fractures, a fractured pelvis, and concussion. And yet, Chesley, we're told, went with his wife to Madeira Police Headquarters this week to thank the officers who arrested the suspects in their home invasion. Judge DeLott calling them today real heroes. The officers just look at it as they were doing their job. They were in the right place at the right time. So anything above and beyond that and recognition is something I'm sure they appreciate. A quick arrest after a friend of the Chesleys describes a violent home invasion at their Indian Hill mansion late at night, during which the three suspects, she says, roughed them up and threw Chesley downstairs. The suspects stopped for rolling through this stop sign by Officer Zizicki. He's very proactive. He specifically, you know, for night shift, he may sit on a stop sign for two, three hours a night and maybe only get one or two stops, but he's looking, you know, for something like this to, 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 for a regular traffic stop to turn into something more. A proactive officer leading to an abundance of evidence. The suspects police say caught with the Chesley's belongings and items from other burglaries as well. Evidence of the crime in their vehicle. I understand one of them's already confessed and implicated the other two. So that's a lot of damaging evidence. Yes, yeah, so a half dozen or more felony charges against each of these suspects. Coming up at 6, Attorney Mark Crumbine talks about how this case and why this case has played out as it has and why they face so many years in prison. Live at the Hamilton County Courthouse, I'm Julie O'Neill. We'll send it back to you.